identify the enemy. Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. This time we've got one of the original characters that was put back and never released in the Mattel line. It is Jaga. Jaga and Groon were meant to be a part of the original Thundercats Classics line from Mattel. But sadly, they were put back and sadly, they were never released because obviously Mattel did the one wave and that was that story. Now, here we have Super 7's Ultimates Jaga. Jaga came packaged with a different hand on here and he did come packaged with the fabric cape, much like uh, Mumra did from memory. I do actually love this fabric cape. And unlike Slythe, Jaga comes with a whole host of accessories. So let's have a good look at what he came with. It comes with plastic cape, which we will peg on in a second. It came with three different heads. So the one we've got here, the standard Jugger head. So this is the alive Jugger. They will do a spirit Jugger. We know they're going to do a spirit Jugger. This is Jugger without his helmet. And I believe from memory, the original Jugger toy's helmet could come off. No, it's not a toy that I ever had. But yeah, so that's quite good that we get Jugger without the helmet on and I don't know why we got this head old man dying Jaga head <sighs> again this is not head I'm ever 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 going to put on Jaga and what would have been nice is if you got a helmet that you could have sort of the helmetless head Jaga carry and hold in his hand but I don't want to be reminded of the dying Jaga so yeah this is a head that it's a nice to have but I'm never going to display it with it on because I, I, I don't like it. I can't be reminded of that. What Jugger should have come with is his youthful head from when he fights um, Ratilla, which is Rataro's ancestor. But there, there we are. They, we've got three heads. Alive. Alive without his uh, helmet and dying off Jugger. Interesting to see if to know if the spirit version of Jugger comes with this head. That'd be interesting. And it comes with the uh, here's your clothes magic um, sort of hand here. Now, it's funny enough, I actually watched the Exodus episode um, very recently to know what this was because I was absolutely dumbfounded. I was like, what is this? But yet yeah, this is the, uh, hey, wear some clothes, you Thundercats. Even though later on we see on Thundera they did actually wear clothes. There we go. There's the first episode. Yeah, there's always things wrong in pilots. So yeah, the uh, here's your clothes magic. And on the figure, we've got the uh, north-south articulation hand. We've got a claw-type hand, which is east-west articulation. And the other right hand is east-west. So east-west. And we've got the closed fist hand, which is east-west. Other side, we've got north-south. And a open fist hand, which is the east-west motion. Get the full sword of Thundera. Oh, sorry, the <laughs> sword of omens. Uh, open and closed. So this is the closed version. And this is the open version. So it's all full bladed up. So what we'll do right now is, let's get Lino. As you see, Jug has got the up-to-date pinless elbows and knees. Uh, this doesn't that doesn't bother me. Uh, I know the red lino that's due out is gonna have the more up-to-date lino look. So what sword of omens is the better sword of omens? So this is Lino's and this is Jaga's. Looks like they've updated the cat logo, which in all fairness this is an update from the Mattel release. I think yeah this one I pretty probably can't see this is more blue on the hilt here, whereas this is more of a turquoisey green on Lino's sword. So Jaga's sword is actually an improvement on Lino's. And I know they've probably improved it on the Red Lino one as well. Which, you know, red Lino should wield the sword of omens, but I guess it's just an accessory they can put in there. So I might actually give Jaga's sword to Lino, because he should have the proper sword of omens. I know the original Jaga toy came with a sword of omens and he does wield it in the cartoon. But I think I'm not going to swap it. I'm going to give this one to Lino. So here he is. Lino with the Jaga sword of omens. Looking much better. The blue to go with the blue. 
that come there. And the Sura Jaga, you're going to get the Pino Sword of Angus. Now, obviously, Jaga plays the role of the Obi Wan Kenobi character after his um, death. And I've always, always wanted there to be a series where Jaga lived a lot longer. Now, he does live a little bit longer in the 2012 version. I'd like to, like, if they did like, a full season with Jaga alive and sort of helping the uh, next generation of Thundercats being Lino, helping him actively be that new leader, that new next leader. So obviously he's obviously a, a boy in a man's body. That's kind of that's kind of one thing they do in the first series. Like, they, they get rid of calling him a cub and stuff like that uh, in the later seasons of the Thundercats. So here's Jaga. So let's clip off the head. That's how you do the cape. Clip on the plastic cape. So you've got this here. You can see. But there now this does hinder a little bit the articulation when the cape's attached. So you, you won't have much motion with Jaga with the capes attached, which is a bit of a shame. But it's just one of those things. I think it clips on quite easily. But it's quite soft plastic, so be careful of it tearing. I'm not saying it will, but it could do. I actually think I prefer that, actually. On him. Um, okay, let's show the other heads. Let's jogger. Helmetless jogger. With the, um... I suppose you could use... <laughs> dying jogger head as the, um, the helmet for him to hold if you want to do that. So I've got it to work there. You see, you can have Jaga holding the dying Jaga head <laughs> to show that he's holding his helmet. Obviously, it has to be facing backwards. There we go. I actually quite like that. I quite like that. That looks all right. Now let's try dying Jaga's head on him. And here he is in his... Death Roll's head. <laughs> I don't know why they did this. It's literally one part of an episode. He does. He has this face. Oh my god! Does he have his helmet off enough? I can't remember. But that was a better head either way. He was youthful, bearded, alive, dying, bearded head. Uh, yeah. I no. That's not staying on there. That's never staying on there. So there we have Jaga. From the Ultimates line, so let's we obviously had him already compared to with Lino here. Looking absolutely quality. I'm not sure if I want fabric cape or plastic cape on Jogger for now. I quite like that one. It is heavy on him. I do like this one. And obviously, we've got Panthro as well. Unfortunately, Chitara has been put back for corrections, which is a good thing in the long run, so it's good that they'll be doing that with uh, Chitara. I do have, as you know, old giant Pumaira who's gathering dust on the side here. But she'll just probably live next to me and we'll open it up again. Here we have Jaga with Lino with the Sword of Omens and Panthro. Cannot wait to get Tigra and Chitara to go with them. Uh, I would not be getting uh, Spirit Jaga but if and when they do do Spirit Jugger, I do want them to do a full cape that sort of covers him over from when he does his appearance and disappearance in the show. And the music starts. Dum, 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 dum. But this cape isn't big enough to sort of wrap around him. And this one clearly isn't either. Uh, so yeah, what do you think of Jaga? How will you display your Jaga? Uh, don't forget to love, like, subscribe and see you guys in the next video.